Welcome to Gone Hill Farms. How y'all doing today? I'm out here in the uh, in the courtyard in my around my house here. I have this little courtyard, and I try to grow some vegetables here in the in the center of it, besides some roses and some other things. And uh, this year, I tried for the first time to really try to grow Brussels sprouts. I've always tried to grow Brussels sprouts too late, springtime in Texas. It gets just too hot. So this year, uh, I started them in winter, and even though they're not any prize winning Brussels sprouts, uh, I actually grew something this year. So I was shocked. But our weather here is getting, starting to get warm, and so uh, I figured it's time to uh, remove the Brussels sprouts and uh, uh, turn this bed into uh, maybe some... Uh, uh, some other things, some okra. I had okra here last year, did real good. So I think I'm going to go ahead and uh, plant okra again here. And uh, so anyway, so let's see as we pick what I got here. See what we got left on here. Now these aren't the the biggest Brussels sprouts in the world, but you know when they're smaller, they're not too bad. They uh, taste, I think, better. So, we'll pick through these, see what we come up with. We got about five plants. Then we're going to prepare this bed for uh, for okra. Brussels sprouts are a uh, very cold weather crop. And uh, so this year, I don't think we even had, didn't seem like we had more than just a handful of, handful of days that was below freezing. So it worked out pretty good as far as the growing the Brussels sprouts during the winter. Uh, probably could have used some more fertilizer because uh, it didn't, I've got about six or seven meals out of this, so it hasn't been like it's been a great success, but for the first time, it's not too bad. Take the Brussels sprouts, the old plants, and I'll put them in the compost pile. I know when I was a kid, I uh, never liked Brussels sprouts. But I learned as you get older in your garden that you learn to eat what you grow because there's no sense growing it if you ain't eat it. Okay, we'll get up and uh, cultivate this ground a little bit. Some fertilizer and we'll uh, uh, get this fertilized. That's some organic garden tone fertilizer. Put some in here. that in a little bit. Come back and water those in. 
here in a few minutes. You can tell I got, it'll be hard to tell, I got, uh, I don't know, I got another meal's worth of Brussels sprouts. Okay, uh, as you can see here, I still have some romaine and lettuce and some broccoli. I don't know, that broccoli's not doing as good as I'd hope. Uh, there may be enough time in the year if it gets too hot. I've used the romaine a little bit, picked off of it some, and uh, uh, not quite grown as good as it did last year. But we're getting some meals out of it. What I want to do now is go over and plant some uh, Black Eyed Susans around over here. Let me take the camera. Used to, uh, my little dog's buried here. Oh, about six weeks ago. Zoe was her name. Uh, she's my little buddy. And uh, she's the smartest little dog I ever had. And uh, But she got sick. No matter what they did, the medicine they gave her, it never could make her better. And she ended up passing away. So I buried her here in this courtyard in between these two rose bushes. And uh, I'm going to plant some little black eyed Susans here around the grave. I grew them in all these little peak pots, and uh, roots grew right through the bottom. But uh, I know most people try to dig a little bit of the bottom off, to give the roots a little easier chance. But since these are a perennial, I'm hoping they'll grow good here. And uh, they'll just keep coming back each year. Highlighting little Zoe here. minutes and uh, hopefully they'll uh, grow up good and uh, it'll be pretty here beside old Zoe's grave. So uh, I guess that's uh, all today. If you uh, like this video uh, please subscribe uh, as I try to build this channel and show you uh, things that are happening on my little one-acre homestead here in Texas. So, have a good day, and uh, we'll see you on the next video.